I'm playing chess while you're playing checkers. It isn't meant to be taken literally, although that's exactly what I did in a game I'm making, but we'll get to that later. Chess has an estimated 10 to the 40 possible legal positions, while checkers only has 5 times 10 to the 20. I tried to make a pie chart, but checkers literally doesn't even show up. This made me wonder what it would be like to play chess versus checkers. Here's what I learned when I started testing it out. The queen can just slide into the back rank and take all of the checkers. The first solution I thought of was to just give the checkers player twice as many pieces. So I tried it out with a friend, and we immediately noticed another problem. Since a checker has to move two squares diagonally in any capture, it is impossible for it to capture any piece along the edge. Since all of these issues stem from the various edges of the board, I thought to myself, why not just get rid of them? I had a few ideas for how to do this. The idea that I settled on was to allow the checkers to move outside the board to capture. Let me explain. What I did, essentially, was expand the board to 10 by 10, but the squares on the edges are different. Chess pieces are never allowed to move to these squares. These squares are only available for captures. This way, the game is still played on the 8x8 board, but the chess pieces can no longer dominate the edges. 